Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be taking a look at an absolutely awesome upcoming Cydia tweak for the iOS 9.0.2 and lower jailbreak, and it will also function on iOS 9.2.1 and even 9.3 once their respective jailbreak utility is released and made available. It's called Quick Center, and basically it brings to life the absolutely awesome iOS 10 concept I shared with you not too long ago that I will have linked on your screens right now. Basically what it does is it extends Control Center beyond what it can do today, and that's mostly thanks to the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus's 3D Touch technology. So for instance, a 3D Touch on different toggles will bring up extra options that you'd normally have to launch the settings app to be able to access. So it basically adds an extra layer of convenience to Control Center and will hopefully help to mitigate your use and reliance on the settings application for some of these toggles here. However, just note that it doesn't require a 6S, or in this case, a 6S plus to actually function or be useful. It will work with other devices that do not have that 3D touch technology. We're going to get into that more though toward the end of this video. I'm currently just going to go over its functionality right now. We're going to highlight everything Quick Center can do. I also wanted to mention that the reason Control Center on my device is green is because of Spring Tamize. So it's a completely separate tweak. I just wanted to have it installed as well as activated to show you that it does also function with other tweaks that modify Control Center. While it won't work with every tweak that does, it will with the main ones. So now let's get into everything Quick Center can do. We're going to start at the top, these toggles up here, and then move down toward these bottom icons that are basically just quick access to certain applications as well as functionality on the device. So getting a better close up here, we're going to start with Wi-Fi, which I already kind of highlighted. Essentially, when you do or perform a 3D touch on the Wi-Fi toggle, it will bring up known networks that are available to connect to. And it also lists which network you're currently connected to. And to switch to a different network, it's as easy as just tapping on its name, provided you are within that area, your device will then connect and log on to that network. So next up, we do have Bluetooth. So it's kind of the exact same concept here. A 3D touch on it will bring up available devices. Just note that if you do have over six devices in your Bluetooth device history, then it will only bring bring up five of them, and that is to accommodate the limited space that we have here when Control Center is brought up. So we're actually just going to give a quick demo of this. I do have my Parrot Zeke headphones right here, and we're just going to turn them on. I also want to stress that I do not have Auto Connect enabled for these headphones, so it will not automatically connect, and we're just going to test that by performing another 3D touch on the Bluetooth icon. You'll notice that it still lists disconnected for the Parrot Zeke headphones. Now, however, we're going to attempt a connection between the device as well as the headphones just by tapping on it. And I actually heard the connection sound. It's very faint and it comes through on the ear cups themselves. But when we go ahead and do another 3D touch on the Bluetooth icon, you'll notice that now it lists connected. And we can actually open up the settings app to confirm that as well. So when we go inside of settings Bluetooth, now you'll notice that we do have a connection between the headphones as well as the iPhone 6S Plus. So that does work successfully. And another thing too I wanted to mention, of course you can still regularly toggle on and off these services. So if I wanted to completely turn off Bluetooth, it's as easy as just tapping on it as normal. And to turn it back on, we can just tap it. Or if we wanted to quickly connect to a device, say we're not inside of the settings application, all we have to do is 3D touch on it. I quickly did a 3D touch before I actually had Bluetooth enabled there though, so now it will appear. If you do a 3D touch on Bluetooth with it turned off, none of the devices should appear. But now that it is on, you can see we do have that list available. So we're going to turn off the headphones and we're going to set them off to the side because we no longer need them now. So what else can Quick Center do? Well, let's go ahead and bring it up. When we have the do not disturb option toggled on, we can go ahead and invoke a 3D touch and then we can change how we actually want do not disturb to function, whether we want it to always be on or to only enable when the device is locked. And we can toggle it just by tapping on it. As you can see, it's switched between always to only when locked. And we can go ahead and 
switch it back to always because we are recording right now. All right, so that takes care of everything on the top row. Now we have the bottom row to worry about. All right, so on the far left, as I'm sure the majority of you are well aware by now, we have the ability to toggle on and off the flashlight feature, which just uses your device's LED flash, provided it has that module. But now what we can do is tap on it with a 3D touch, so putting pressure behind it, and we have the ability to strobe the flashlight now. And of course, this bottom row functions exactly the same as the top row in the sense that when you just regularly tap on it, it will either toggle it or launch whatever it actually is but when you do that 3D touch, it will activate that extra quick menu. So for an example, we have this other quick menu here to allow us to easily toggle on and off alarms inside of the clock application. So for example, let's say we wanted to toggle on the 5.30 alarm that I have set here. All I have to do is just tap inside of that toggle. As you can see, it is now on, and we do have that icon up there in the top status bar indicating that we have an alarm set. When we do launch the clock application, and go over to alarm, you'll notice it is toggled on. And I'm just going to turn it off just to show you one more time that it does indeed function. So let's go ahead and bring it up here. We're going to 3D touch. And this time we're going to actually set the 5.35 AM alarm. And we're just going to exit out of control center and tap on clock and boom, there we have it. The 5.30 AM alarm is set. And also the regular functionality of that alarm icon is still intact if we just wanted to regularly press it, it will launch that up specifically into the timer section of the clock application. So now moving right along, we have the last option here, which is just for the camera. So when we go ahead and 3D touch on this, it does bring up a little pane here. So this is a live feed from the device's camera. Of course, you'll notice when I move it around, it does corroborate that. And it's very easy to actually take pictures through this method when inside of other applications. So hypothetically speaking, let's say we're inside of an application. In this instance, Cydia, it can really be anything though. Once you then bring up Control Center and 3D Touch, you can quickly and easily take a picture just by tapping on that little preview window there. You can also resize it if you want a bigger viewfinder. You can even focus on things if they're out of focus by long pressing on whatever you want to focus, and then it will focus on that specific point. It's a little hard to demonstrate, but trust me, it does work. You can then even flip it around to the front-facing camera if you want just by double pressing on it like so, or rather double tapping on it, and then and you can take a picture just like you could when it was using the rear facing camera. So it's really that easy and then it will add these pictures to your photos application or you can access it inside of camera and then camera roll. So Quick Center just adds an extreme layer of convenience and as I mentioned toward the beginning of this video, hopefully it will help you mitigate your reliance on the settings application. And speaking of which, inside of settings, you will actually have the ability to change the strobe light duration for the flashlight portion of Quick Center. You can also quickly enable or disable the tweak entirely. And for non 6S devices, meaning ones without 3D touch, you have the option to change how you want to invoke or bring up those quick menus. You can either do it using a fake 3D touch. And what it will do essentially is measure the contact point of an actual touch and when it expands, meaning when you actually put kind of some pressure behind it and it notices that that contact point is expanding, it will kind of mimic a 3D touch, so to speak, or it can just be a regular long press, which you just should be able to activate by simply holding on an icon for longer. But if you do have an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, you don't have to worry about that at all. It will automatically detect which type of device you have and it will enable the best activation method for your device automatically. It will launch in about a week on the Big Boss repository. It could take longer or it could be sooner just depending on how long Big Boss takes to actually approve and put up their tweak on their repo and it will be available for just one dollar and if you want a chance to win this tweak for free i've actually teamed up with the developer of quick center we're giving away 20 copies it's very easy to enter all you have to do is rate this video up and leave a comment down below in the comment section containing your unique cydia id and to access that you just have to launch up cydia go to manage account and if you've never signed in before via your facebook or google account it'll prompt you to sign in using one of the two then all you have to do is sign in and you will see a unique ID toward the bottom. And it's really just that simple. 
post that unique identification number down below in the comment section and you're good to go. You will be randomly chosen after the tweak is launched. I really hope you guys like this video and you love the upcoming quick center tweak. Remember this video is not sponsored in any way. I'm just happy to help the developer promote it because it's such a great idea and it brings some awesome functionality to iOS. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Of course, be sure to subscribe if you have yet to by clicking that subscribe button next to my channel name. Also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. That way you'll be notified more often such as when I release new videos covering various things ranging from Cydia tweaks to jailbreak updates to actual jailbreak tutorials when new utilities are released. Remember, Quick Center will function with iOS 9.2.1 and 9.3 once the next untethered jailbreak is released. So huge thumbs up for that. Remember, this is an awesome tweak. Check it out in Cydia soon and stay tuned for more of my videos. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.